Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. In this session, Introduction to Analyst Tools, uh, we're going to walk through the different tools in the platform that you can use to slice and dice your data. Now, as we saw in our very first session, there are a lot of different tools in the platform. So in this session, we're just going to briefly touch on each of them, uh, just so that you are familiar with them a little bit and know how to access them. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I am starting out at the console for the system that we just installed. I'm gonna log in as analyst. And the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna run SO status because we're gonna replace some test network traffic and I wanna make sure all the components are up and running before I do that. So we'll run sudo so-status. And uh, you may not need to do this, but because of the screen size, I'm just gonna pipe this out to less dash R to make it a little bit easier for us to read. Okay, so at the very top, uh, checking Docker status, it looks like everything is, uh, is green. If I scroll down, looks like we are good to go. Okay, so uh, next up, I'm going to run sudo so-test. What this does in the background is um, downloads uh, packets and, or excuse me, packet captures, and then replays them in uh, in the system. If you have not uh, done this before, it will need to download it, and so please make sure that your system has access to the internet before you run so test. Now you do see some errors here, um, but as we see from the screen right here. Uh, PCAPs have been replayed. It is normal to see some warnings. As long as you see that successful packets uh, section right there that show that at least some of the packets have been successfully replayed, you should be fine. So now that we've replayed some traffic, I'm gonna go over to my browser. So you can see that I'm already at the Security Onion console. I just typed in so-eval and it redirected me uh, to the console. And keep in mind that whatever you specified in setup, if you specify that you're gonna access the console via an IP address, make sure you use the IP. I specified I was gonna use a host name and so that's what I'm using right now. So I'm gonna log in with the username that we created during setup. That's the email address, that's the analyst at acme onions.com and the password. And we are now logged into the Security Onion console. A few things to take note of. We have a menu over here, which we'll talk about in just a second. The center area just gives uh, latest release notes and uh, messages uh, to take note of. On the far right hand corner, we have some options here. We can change the mode to dark mode or light mode. And uh, you can click on uh, the little help link and that will bring you to the latest version of our documentation, which is definitely very handy. Blog link, uh, log out to manual log out of the console, as well as settings, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So if you open up this menu again, you'll see that the first set of links here, uh, these are all applications within the Security Onion console. Everything down here are tools that will open up a new tab uh, and go to the relevant tool. So let's briefly walk through each of these. Uh, alerts, this is the alerts interface. We'll talk about this in, uh, in workflow number one next session. Hunt, this is a uh, this is an interface that we'll actually use in workflow number two. Allows us to easier, ease, more easily slice and dice our data, asking questions and looking for those answers. Next up, we have the PCAP interface. This is if you've run any packet capture um, jobs that you want to look at the transcripts from. Uh, you'll see that I did run one previously. If we click on that, we'll see. Um, the detail around the packet capture. And again, we'll talk about this in, uh, in, the, in the workflow number one session. Next, we have sensors. These are all the sensors connected 
uh, to Security Onion, we just have one, which is our eval box. Next, we have downloads. So we have logging utilities. This gives us a link to download Wing Log Beat, and then packages and configurations for OS Query, which is that endpoint agent. And then finally, administration, which uh, gives you a view into what users are on the system. If you want to change your password, you can come back over here to settings, and this will let you change your password for the Security Onion console. Now for the rest of the tools, down on this set of the menu, first up we have Kibana, which uh, this is put out by Elastic. And just a few things to note here. You'll see that we do have traffic. This is because we replayed that network traffic just a minute ago. And there are a few different ways that we categorize the data inside Security Onion. The first is by module and data set. If we filter for the Zeek module, I'll click that little plus sign. And that filters just for the Zeek data and you'll see that it put a, uh, a filter up here. You'll see that we have the Zeek module and then data sets within Zeek, con logs, HTTP logs, file logs. And that's the first major way that we categorize data is by module and then by data sets. So data sets are you know, subsets of logs inside a particular module. For Siricata, if you filter for that, you'll see that we just have alert data. The other major way that we categorized data is through event.category. And we have four major classifications, alert data, file data, host data, and network data. For alert data, we have uh, three, or excuse me, four different alerting engines, Playbook, Siricata, Wazoo, and Zeek. Uh, Playbook allows you to generate alerts based on uh, Sigma alerts, whether network or host data. Siricata is our network intrusion detection. The rules generate alerts based on network data. Wazoo, a fork of OSEC, uh, generates alerts based on primarily host data and logs from host. And Zeek, we get uh, Zeek alerts from network data. Our next category is going to be file data. For file data, we have a Zeek which extracts out files from the network the data that it's seeing. It runs some analysis on it, um, generates some metadata. But then we also have Strelka which grabs those files and does further analysis, specifically using Yara signatures. Next up for event.category, we have host data. Host data spans quite a range of different uh, logs and data types within uh, on the endpoint. Specifically though, we have support for OS query host data, Sysmon, Wazoo, um, Syslog, Windows event logs, and many, many other data types. But these are the three main modules that we currently support, at least in the Kibana dashboards. And our final category is network data. If we look at network data, there are quite a different data sets that we can run through. If we click on one of these, let's say our connections, we'll see lots of different uh, ways to visualize the data using Kibana by source IP, destination IP, destination port. Again, we can do some filtering through this. Okay, so that's uh, that's Kibana, and Kibana gives you the ability to, again to, to visualize your data with dashboards, um, and it also I think gives us a good way to look at how we categorize our data by module, data set, and also by event.category. All right, so next up we have Grafana. Grafana allows us to visualize, let me try to refresh that here. There we go. Grafana allows us to visualize the performance of our system. Um, and so it gives us lots of different uh, graphs and statistics about our system. And so I'm not going to deep dive into it, um, but it, it's going to help you uh, pinpoint problem areas in your grid as you deploy Security Onion in production. Next up, we have CyberChef. CyberChef uh, allows you to run a bunch of different types of functions. If you want to do a base 64 decode, 
you can do that here. So lots of little handy functions when you're running through an investigation. That is CyberChef. Playbook we use for detection engineering. Playbook allows us to build detection plays from Sigma and then put those into production and get alerts from those. We'll actually talk about that in uh, workflow number three, detection engineering. Our last couple here, Fleet is a manager for our OS query endpoints. I'm gonna log in with analyst at acmeonions.com and our password. And you'll see that we currently have uh, one system enrolled with Fleet. This is our Security Onion instance. Our last two is the Hive and Navigator. The Hive, again, log in with the username and password you specified uh, during setup. So analyst at acme, acmeonions.com. The Hive we use specifically for case management. Uh, we'll talk about this in workflow number one where we will actually escalate an alert from the alerts queue into a case into the hive all right and so the workflow there is you you look at your alerts you triage them and when you find something that needs to be taken a closer look at you can escalate that into the hive and create a case from it finally is we have attack navigator this is a web application put out by miter that gives us the ability to really visualize our coverage uh, from a miter attack framework perspective across our organization. Typically, we'll use that within detection engineering. All right, so that is a real quick run through of the analyst tools in Security Onion. There is a lot to unpack, and we'll actually deal with most of those over the next three workflows. Workflow number one, alert triage and case creation. We'll cover the alerts queue, uh, pulling PCAP, as well as creating a case in the hive. Workflow number two with ad hoc hunting, we'll take a look at the hunt interface. And workflow number three, detection engineering, we will use a playbook to write a detection and generate an alert from that. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, we'll see you soon in our next session.